Hello everyone, today I'm going to be painting a Spongebob window. Before I get started, be sure to like and subscribe, and let's see what I create. First off, I started with the background, and for the background, I decided to do a landscape, sunset, sky, and some sand. So I did the sunset with hot pink, light pink, yellow, and then eventually I went back and added blue, but I had to wait so that way I didn't make green because we don't want a green sky. And then I painted some sand, and that was it for the background, and then I could get started on doing some of the details. I decided to add some pink Spongebob rocks to the background and the really cool thing about me choosing a sunset landscape is that I can pretty much make any colors that I want because Spongebob during sunsets gets pretty crazy anyway so I didn't have to worry about sticking to the same color palettes as Spongebob does. I could kind of just do my own thing and as you guys probably know Spongebob has a very unique style so right from the beginning I decided that I was going to meld that style with my style and not try to match their style perfectly but add my own twist to it. I mapped out all of the rocks first, and as you see, they're going to need a couple more layers and detailing later, but for now, I just mapped everything out so that I knew where it was going to be. And then I could move on to a really fun part, the sky flowers. I'm not really sure what these flowers are supposed to be, if they're supposed to be clouds or some sort of sea event, but... Either way, it wouldn't be Spongebob without these sky flowers, so I added quite a bit of these in various colors to match along with the sunset theme. I'm not gonna lie, I just did a little bit of googling, and it looks like these sky flowers are supposed to emulate some sort of cloud formation, so that's what they are, and I guess I added yellow, blue, purple, you know, green clouds to the sky because even though they're clouds, it's still Spongebob, so it works. I'm really glad that I went with the sunset theme because it gave me the option to make anything any color that I wanted because Spongebob usually has a pretty similar color palette except when things like sunsets or sunrises or special events like that are happening. So I'm really glad that I went with this because then I could do all of this color explosion stuff that's happening in this piece. Once I was done with the last purple flower, then I could move on to adding more detail to the pink rocks. For this, I just added a little bit of red and blended that out in order to add some deeper places and some shadows and make the rocks a little more 3D. I also did this so that the rocks weren't just flat and that they were a little bit more in my style and so they stood apart from the flat colors in the background because everything in the background doesn't really have a lot of shading or anything like that. But this way there's a little bit more visual interest if the rocks have some sort of shading and texture but the background doesn't. Then it was time to add some more details and I added some seaweed. This reminds me of the mustaches they wear in the movie, but these are not mustaches. These are just mere seaweeds. I guess they could be mustaches potentially, but that's not the case here. Not right now at least. And after I added the seaweed, I thought it could use a little more green and I thought as a fun little almost type of easter egg it would be really fun to add spongebob's horse mystery so that's what i'm doing right there i'm adding in the seahorse that he finds i haven't really added much detail to anything yet because this piece is pretty small that paintbrush that i'm working with is the smallest one that i own and i do not feel very confident trying to do details with that. So I decided instead to later come back in with some markers, which you'll see later in the video to add the finer details. So for now, I'm just giving the overall picture and then I'll go back in later to finalize everything. Then I did some touch-ups on places that needed more building and I also added those purple flowers that Mystery eats. I thought that would also be a fun little Easter egg because if you've seen that episode, then you know you won't see a Mystery 
the seahorse without those special purple flowers with the red polka dots so I thought that would be a really fun tie-in. I'll add in the red polka dots though later in the details so don't worry too much. They will be accurate to the Spongebob. After I added Mystery's flowers, it still wasn't feeling full enough or colorful enough quite yet. Plus, I didn't add in my favorite, which is the jellyfish. So, I decided to add in some pink jellyfish. And again, I'll add more detail later. I accidentally had too much water on my paintbrush, but that's okay because we fixed it and we kept on going. It was nothing we couldn't fix and it still is okay. So, I added the little jellyfish and then I could finally paint the outside of the window. Although I guess technically it's the inside of the window because we would be looking out of the window to the outside. But anyway, for the outside, no, the inside we decided, of the window, I decided to paint it this periwinkle type of color so that way it wouldn't be too much color with all the color that's already on the inside of the piece. And then I could get started on doing the details with my fine liner. I used different colored markers to add details to everything, so for everything that was pink that needed detailing, I used a dark hot pink color so that way I could outline everything and add details. I felt like it was necessary to do this so that it matched more to the Spongebob style of art. And then I also took a green and did that for everything. And I also used the green marker to add details to Mystery, the seahorse, which was actually quite challenging. He's a funny looking guy, but we made it work in the end. I didn't forget to add the red dots to the flowers either, so don't worry about that. We had to make sure we were being as accurate as possible to Spongebob so I made sure Mystery would love the flowers and they had red dots and then I also outlined them as well. And finally it was time for my favorite part of all art pieces when I use this. It's the gel pen. So I added some whites to Mystery's eyes. That's what you just saw there. And now it's time to add some details. So first thing with the white gel pen is I outlined the jellyfish to make them stand out a little bit more. And then I added some highlights to the seaweed and to other things. And then I added some bubbles, which was really super fun and I think made a huge difference in bringing the piece to life. If you know anything about me and gel pens, then you know I didn't know when to stop because gel pens are so fun to use. There's something really magical about drawing with white. It's just, it, it's not right, so it's extra special. And uh, yeah, I added a lot of detail until there was possibly no more room to add more details. I even added more off camera that you haven't seen yet that you'll see at the end, so stay tuned. And then I added these little streaks to make it look like you were looking through glass. After that, it was time to add more detail to the window. I at first tried to go in with a Sharpie to add some details, but that really didn't work and it really didn't fit the style, so I just kind of used it as guidelines and then I decided to go in with paint instead and I detailed everything with this blue color and I was really nervous to do the inside outline of the window because I didn't want to ruin any of the art that I'd already done, but it's okay. I didn't mess it up and then I just fixed up the edges until it looked how I wanted it to and then I added even more details to the inside of the window and some highlights and I even added some sparkles to the window so that it was extra shiny. Then it was finished. I can't wait for you guys to see the end results and be sure to like and subscribe for more.